Hey guys, Todd here. Today we're going to install the Endeavor running boards from Iron Cross Automotive on this 2021 Ford F-150 Super Crew. Now this is the same installation for black and for stainless. For this installation, I'll be using a number three Phillips head screwdriver, a half inch ratcheting wrench, a ratchet with two sockets, a 13 millimeter and a half inch. Now make sure you subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with all our latest content. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do with the Endeavor running board is attach the end caps on either side. Now this is the driver's side board. Uh, you can tell the difference between the driver's side and the passenger side because of the size of the step pads. The smaller step pad is gonna to be to the rear. The larger step pad is gonna to be to the front. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and flip that board upside down. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our running board. You'll notice we've got a couple of holes in the top of the board. What we're gonna do is take our end cap, flip that over, and you'll see these two pegs that are in the end cap. What we're gonna do is line up those pegs with the holes in the board and insert them in place. Then we're gonna rotate this over to the side and we'll also see that we've got a hole in the side of the end cap and then also a hole in the side of the board. Now, if that hole is, if you're having a hard time getting that hole to line up, just take a drill bit and widen this out a little bit. It'll make things a lot easier. Next, what we're gonna do is take our self-tapping screw out of our kit, we're gonna line it up to that hole. And we're gonna take a number three Phillips head screwdriver and drive that into the hole. And that's going to actually cut its own threads into the hole in the board. And then just get it nice and snug down to the board. Now, if you have the stainless steel version of this, it might take a little bit more force to get that screw started in, just because stainless takes a little bit more for a self-tapping screw to go through. Now that's fastened down, we're gonna go ahead and take our spin nuts and set them on top of our plastic pegs. I'm gonna use a half inch ratcheting wrench just because it gives me plenty of room. And I'm gonna go ahead and tighten those down. Just get them nice and snug. Do not over tighten them because you can snap the, the peg off. All right, next what we're gonna do is take the bottom of our end cap and line up three, these three holes here to these three pegs. Once those are lined up, we're gonna take our three screws, drop them into the holes, and then we are going to fasten those down again with a number three Phillips head screwdriver. All right, now we're gonna repeat the same steps for the end cap on the opposite side and then repeat the same thing on the other running board. Okay, before we go any further, we wanna go ahead and separate our hardware. In your kit, this is all gonna come in one bag. You're gonna have 12 metric nuts, 12 standard nuts, and then 12 standard bolts. If you can't tell the difference between your standard nuts and your metric nuts, like I cannot, then what you're gonna do is take your bolt and take one nut at a time, and if the bolt threads into the nut freely, then that is a standard nut. Make sure you set those off to the side. The standard nuts and the standard bolts are gonna be used to fasten the running board to the bracket. Now the metric nuts, those are not going to thread in all the way. It'll feel like it's gonna start, but then it'll stop right about halfway in. That's your metric. The metric is going to be used to attach your brackets to the truck. Okay, we're starting off underneath the truck. We're on the driver's side, just behind the driver's side front tire. Uh, now in your bracket kit, you're gonna have a total of six brackets. You have two that are faced one way and the other four are faced the opposite direction. They're kind of a mirror image. The two that are faced uh, the same way, those are your front brackets. So your front driver's side and your front passenger side. The other four are your remaining brackets, your center and your rear brackets for both sides. All right, next what we're gonna do is take our driver's side front bracket, slide it over top of these two threaded studs. Um, and we're gonna take our metric hardware and go ahead and set it in place, just finger tight for right now. All 
All right, next we're gonna go ahead and go to our center bracket. Again, this is gonna be a mirror image of the front bracket. We're gonna go to these two studs and attach our metric hardware that's provided and just hand tight again. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and come back to our rear bracket location, focus on these two threaded studs on the rocker panel. We're going to go ahead and install our rear bracket. Again, this is just like our center bracket, bent the same way. A mirror image of our front bracket. And again, hand tight, we're going to set our metric hardware in place on that. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and set our running board in place on top of our brackets. Uh, we're going to adjust it front to back, make sure that our brackets are not over top of our supports. Now we can go ahead and take one of our plates, and fish it up into the channel of the, of the running board, turn it sideways, and run it over top of our bracket to line the holes up. Next we can take two of our bolts out of our kit, drop it down through the plate, down into the bracket. And next we can take some of our standard nuts and thread them up onto those bolts. We're just gonna put them on finger tight for right now so we can make final adjustments before we tighten everything down. Repeat the same on the next two brackets. Okay, now that we've got everything lined up and in place, we're gonna go ahead and use a half inch wrench to hold the bolt in place up inside the channel. And we're gonna use a half inch socket to tighten the nut down. Now it's a serrated flange nut, so it's self-locking. Just get it nice and snug, it'll hold it in place. Next, we can swap out to a 13 millimeter socket and tighten down the brackets to the truck. All right, repeat the same on the next two brackets. Well, we repeated the same process on the opposite side and that concludes the installation. If you found this video helpful, make sure and give us a thumbs up if you wanna know more about the product Check the link down in the description below. And as always, if you have any questions, call the experts or visit us online.